this is the CSD cross miner GUI. You can see that it is divided in two parts. On the left side, we have a 3D view where the molecule, like the, the structure, the pharmacophore, and also the features are displayed. And the right side, we have an explorer window that is composed by actually three different windows. On the top, we have a feature database window that contain information about the loaded feature database. In this case, it is displayed the default feature database that is provided with the application that it consists in three subsets, the PDB, nucleic acid, and the CSD subset. You also notice that the three subsets are different colors. This is really useful when during the search, you are using all these different databases, all of these different structured databases, and you want to distinguish between a hit that is coming from the PDB from a hit that is coming, for example, from the CSD. Below this feature database window, you find the resulted list that will contain information about the hits that are matching the pharmacophore query. On the bottom, you have a pharmacophore feature windows that contain all the information about the features that are used to generate the feature database. In this part of the, in this window, you also have information about the pharmacophore, for example, like the pharmacophore query that is generated and what kind of pharmacophore points are generated. For example, we will see that this pharmacophore query is composed by a ring planner projected, by an acceptor projected, and by an exit vector. We can further customize this query by adding intramolecular constraint by retrieving heats where all these pharmacophore points belong to the same molecule. So because in this example, we are going to look for new chemistry to replace this central ring, we can disable the PDB and the nucleic acid database and only mine in the CSD. If we are happy with our query, we can then click on the play button and start the search. The results matching the pharmacophore will be immediately populate the 3D view and will be also listed in the resulted list. We can pause the search and take a look. First thing you see is that you have information about the identifier and you see that the color of the heat is matching the database where it is coming from. The results are also clustered based on the Tanimoto threshold here that is represented here. By default, only the first in cluster, so only the cluster represented, uh, representative is displayed, but you can have access to all the cluster member by unticking this button. The RMSD, that is the root mean square deviation of the overlay, is also represented. So this is giving information about how well the heat is matching is overlay to the pharmacophore query. The 2D diagram of the heat that is matching the pharmacophore is also displayed. So this is also highlighting the substructure in the heat that is matching the pharmacophore point. Each entry in the CrossMiner database come annotated with the different information that characterize the entry. For example, the chain, the preposition date, or the CEC number, if we are talking about PDB. If we scroll down the list, we also see that there are specific annotation for the CSD structure. For example, you have information about the CSD ref code, the formula, and the RF factor. All these annotations are not only useful to know your structure, to uh, know what is the matching hits, but can be also used as a filter 
by using the annotation filter that is available on the bottom of the Pharmacophore feature window. Let's take a look at the matching hit now. So we can sort by RMSD and we start to see we can click on the hits or we can also use multiple we can select multiple hits by using the Ctrl Shift button. Let's hide the reference and take a look of the chemistry here. So we see indeed that the hits matching the pharmacophore query has a central ring that is different from the original one. We can further scroll down and see if we found some interesting hits here. We see that one of the ring by going down, you see chemistry like this, like Ifapep, where the central ring is replaced with the urea moiety able to form an intramolecular hydrogen bond. These chemistry are considered to be particular stable and they are considering new and not conventional strategy to mimic established compound. Interesting hit like this one can be, for example, marked and saved for further analysis. If you want to continue your search or you, can, you want to modify your query, you can actually do it on the fly and, for example, define add a new pharmacophore to your original query. So, for example, we can add a donor projected here. So this will restart your search and the new hits that are matching the new pharmacophore query will be then displayed.